So what have we seen at Walmart this month? Hey there, NJ, Route22.com here with uh, something we call Walmart Whatnots. It's uh, some minor observations that we made uh, each time we go to Walmart in New Jersey. And we have a couple things we're going to talk about this month. Uh, first of all, it's a simple tip. It's always good to buy holiday merchandise after the holiday is over. You can find some tremendous deals. You know, Christmas lights are, are one of the best things to buy for next year. Just buy them in, uh, at, you know, after uh, Christmas Day or in January. And just note that the longer you wait, the more the discount gets. You know, we saw some stuff for 90% off. Now, mind you, all that, uh, all the good stuff is uh, typically gone by the time it reaches such a major uh, discount, but you can still find some things. But the key is to not uh, buy things you don't need. Be very uh, thoughtful about what you buy and you'll be okay. But speaking of the clearance sections, you should go check out that clearance aisle because you can always find good deals. And like I said, you gotta, if you see something that you want, or more importantly need or could use, um, it's probably a good idea to pick it up because uh, they go pretty fast, especially if it's a high demand item. Also, like these, here's a good example. I uh, saw these cookie sheets, you know, they were big. We have a big oven and there were two of them. One was, I think, a muffin tin and one was just a regular cookie sheet. Huge ones that you could put a, a ton of stuff on them when you're baking. And they were five bucks. They were as cheap as can be. I'm like, oh, let me go check uh, to see what they go for. And they were like 30 or dollars or more. And they were gone the next day I went there. Someone either, they sent them back or someone bought them all up. And also, like, you can find, uh, like, things like coloring books for kids that were normally, like, real thick ones that were, like, uh, normally 12 bucks or, or something like that. And they were a dollar or do two or two dollars. Those were gone as well. Same thing with these pencils here. Um, they weren't the best deal in the world, nor were they the best pencils, but they had a whole big selection of them, and those are things that you might uh, be able to use in your house. So that's it. Just, just pay attention and act accordingly. Um, another thing I've noticed is now they have monopoly for everything. M millennials, uh, feminists, uh, you name it. I, I, I'm just uh, blown away at how recently Monopoly now has a game for everything, for every niche possible. And I think this plays into the whole gamification of people. They want the next thing, the newest thing, the upgrade or whatever. You know, like when you're playing a game, for instance, oh, you, you can get this new uh, uh, power up or whatever. I think everybody just wants the latest thing now. And it's kind of, um, I think the charm of Monopoly as a unique game is over, but I suppose at the same time they're also playing into people that will, are vulnerable and will buy this stuff up. So I just think it's kind of interesting. And also, it kind of plays into this. Now, Instapot, I guess, is something popular. I don't know how it got popular. It's just some sort of uh, mass-produced uh, thing that probably will not last a long time, but uh, they have Ninja and Instapot everything now. It's like it seems like those are the two brands of appliances taking over every uh, section in places like Walmart. But I saw this one thing that was interesting. It was this Ninja Foodie. It's this. Uh, it's a deceptive thing. It's it's like it's basically an oven. But they have a new name for oven now that has a fan in it. It's called you know it's it used to be called a convection oven. Now it's called an air fryer. Uh, they made it shape a little differently, and now it, they, you know, they basically say in letters right on the box, it says guilt-free frying. I, I don't know. They're still playing on this misinformation that, that uh, fat is bad for you. Um, now, while fat and carbs together certainly are bad, but calling something like uh, air-fried French fries guilt-free is a lie. It's wrong. It's inaccurate. It's scientifically inaccurate. You raise your blood sugar, you're going to get fat. Um, and what's even worse with this is because they labeled it guilt-free and there's no, a little less fat in it, um, and it tastes worse, of course, is that these people are going to be eating more of it because it's been, they believe the label of guilt-free, so they're eating more carbs now. And that's why everybody's getting fatter and out of shape. So that's it for this uh, month's Walmart whatnots. If you like the video, please hit like and subscribe and all that. Maybe I can get to a thousand subscribers sometime in this decade. Please help me if you can. And that's it. I'll see you next month. Thank you.